Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Wood Times and the 207. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Adam. This morning, we're just cleaning up some low-grade cedar. Uh, we buy, I've talked about it in previous videos, but we buy tree-length cedar. And pretty much everything over in this corner of the wood yard that we've got left is pretty low-grade stuff. We've picked through it, picked through it, and picked through it again to get everything that we can out of it. Uh, for saw logs and fence posts, uh, the way the market is for cedar lumber, I try to, anything that is worthwhile, I try to run across the sawmill and get what I can for lumber out of it. Um, then at least the waste, the slab wood, stuff like that can still be mixed in with our camp wood. Um, but now we're down kind of down to some real lousy stuff uh, you can see this stuff behind me got a lot of rod in it but it's nice straight grain stuff on the outside uh, the wooden box I've got it on the forks of the tractor that's our quarter cord box we use for dumping our residential wood into our one-ton dump truck uh, but it's also handy for moving stuff around the yard uh, we've got rain coming so I was just gathering up some of these pieces while they're still dry going to put them in the sawmill building that way when it's rainy uh, we can make some kindling wood in there move the splitter into the doorway with the exhaust aiming outside and split kindling wood we did that one day last week uh, worked out real well me and my helper as I made the kindling he was bundling it or bagging it um, so we're just cleaning all this stuff up uh, any of the good straight grain stuff saving for for kindling wood all the rest of it just kind of throwing over in a pile and we've been splitting it into our IBC totes and that'll go right into our regular softwood camp wood um, some people might have some opinions about that as far as the cedar goes but boy I'll tell you when we have the cedar the customers really seem to love it so uh, we mix it in as often as we can I know I've seen on a few other channels I've seen discussion on what's what's better bundling bagging that sort of thing uh, we do the bags we've shown that in some previous videos um, what everybody does has to be what works the best for them for us the way our system works the bags have been the fastest I guess it all depends on how much wood you're moving, how much wood you want to move. Uh, with the rain coming, we made sure we got the campground good and full and our roadside stands good and full. So between late yesterday afternoon and a final load that I took just after daylight this morning, uh, we moved out about 250 bags of wood. All those were made yesterday. Uh, I only made about 40 of them myself. My, I've got a young fellow that helps me my helper made all the rest of them. Uh, if we were still bundling, whether it was with the shrink wrap or at one time we used some long zip ties, we, I don't think we would have been able to make that many. And in my opinion, they don't handle as well. The bags are pretty forgiven. You can toss them around, throw them around, carry two at a time real easy. And it's, it's what works for us. Uh, definitely some more expense to buy them. Um, but it's a big labor saver and it allows us to get a lot more wood out a lot faster uh, from what we've found so back to what we're doing here now like I said we're cleaning up all this low-grade cedar I've got a bunch of it I just need to get it cleaned up and get it gone kind of need the room and sometimes you just kind of get tired of looking at a pile so we want to want to get it cleaned up and get it gone while we can most of this over here, I've still still been picking a few small logs, stuff that I can get some lumber out of, but most of this is a couple years old now, so uh, we just want to get it cleaned up, get it gone, make room for more wood when we can get more. So I wouldn't want to get caught running my chainsaw on YouTube without all the proper safety equipment, so I'll throw my chaps on and my safety glasses and my headphones uh, using one of my trusty 
Husqvarna 562s today. Uh, absolutely love those saws. I know a lot of guys prefer a 70cc saw. I've had real good luck with the 562s. They're kind of my favorite. Um, got two of them. This particular one behind me, I happened to pick up used. Saw an ad at the local store for a real reasonable price, so I called the guy right up and went over and picked that up. Uh, that was over the winter, I believe. And then I've got another one that I purchased brand new late last fall. Um, so yeah, we'll do a little bit of cutting and then we'll do a little bit of splitting. Um, as far as when we buy the tree length cedar, we pick out everything that we can for saw logs, everything that we can for fence posts, and then all the lower grade stuff goes into kindling wood and camp wood. The even right down to the little small chunks. Um, got some some here on the ground right there. Um, everybody out there in the wood business seems to have their own terminology for them. Some call them chunks, offcuts, cutoffs, cookies, buttons. There's all kinds of different names, but uh, just to get everything that we can in, keep the yard cleaned up. All those chunks, the big ones I split up into smaller pieces, those go right into IBC totes. Usually advertise them and within a day or two they're gone. Uh, don't get a lot of money for them, but gets the stuff out of here and, and uh, every bit of money we can bring in certainly helps. So we'll get to work and let you watch us a little bit. So uh, stick around, thank you. Oh! <laughs> 
saw in action for you guys There's so much debris in that pile I think I'm gonna put the grapple on the tractor once it's raining move the rest of that around make it a little easier a little safer to saw um, but like I said those 562s I love those um, might take a little flack in the comments I kind of hope I do I'm not a steel guy I'm a Husqvarna guy through and through Got the two 562s. I've got a older 460 Rancher right now. Um, unfortunately, I do have a 550 XP Mark II as well, but that one kind of crapped out on me, blew the bottom end out of it. Um, on a hemlock tree removal job, I was helping some guys with and trade for the wood. Um, wasn't me running it. Wasn't any error of the operator either. It just it just happened. Uh, he tipped a tree off the stump, and when he was done. He turned to hand me the saw and it shut off and seized up. That was it. But still a good saw. Had a lot of hours on it, so I can't really complain. But uh, I think we'll do a little bit of splitting. Still trying to beat the rain here. Um, kind of changed up my plans. It was supposed to be rainy day all day i think it is raining in southern maine but we haven't had any rain here so i'm gonna keep on going outside here while i can
there you go, gang. There's uh, most of a crate anyway. So, uh, awful lot of mess. I cleaned an area up and I think I made more mess than I had when I started uh, cleaning all that rod off there and everything. But at least we can make something out of it, get it out of here, and, you know, get a little something back on it. So, um, I'm going to move this out in the yard so it'll dry. And still got that wooden crate on the forks here. I'll move that stuff into the building uh, so that hopefully tomorrow can be a kindling day if it's raining. And uh, maybe start cleaning up some of the short pieces, fill a couple crates up so I can try to get a few of those out of here. Try to start making some more room. Well, I knew the rain was coming and it's here. So I had to duck into the sawmill building. I got all those short seat arounds brought in here and under cover. Hopefully either this afternoon or tomorrow will be time to make some kindling and get back ahead on that. There's never enough kindling I've found. So um, hopefully we can, like I said, either this afternoon or tomorrow we'll do that. Also got to do a little, uh, little tinkering on the sawmill track, get that leveled back up, something settled out a little bit there and get that straightened out. And, could have saw some cedar 4x4s, so maybe we can get some video of that stuff too. Um, but I guess that's going to do it for today. Um, glad, glad I was able to get done what I was able to get done. Uh, been good so far for a rainy day. So, If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, uh, leave us some comments. Love to see some comments. A lot more views on our last video, gained a bunch more subscribers, so we feel like we're making headway, and we thank everybody for watching. Have a great day.